Well, I'm with my friend, Brendan Burchard, who just absolutely, positively hit it out of the park today. I mean, the room, Brendan, was mesmerized. <laughs> awesome. thank no, you. just I'm glad. totally mesmerized. Thank you. I appreciate and, uh, it. And so, thank you yeah. for doing this today. And I have a few questions, if that's okay. First, Let's do it. You have, I think, gotten your message out um, through video more powerfully than in any other medium. Mm. Uh, video, it seems like people today, that's just kind of it. And how, for people who are aspiring, haven't done video or are afraid to look in the camera, yeah. um, how do they get started doing yeah. video and making it work the way you do? Man, and, and, and any question is usually the answer. How do you get started? You get started. Uh, and to me, I think a lot of people see video and people on video as they're, they're, they're like magical or something. And it's not. I sucked at video. Everyone sucks at video. There's no one who start, well, I guess maybe some people, who start video and are good at it, but I know maybe that's maybe 1%. 99% of the rest of us, we got to go for it. I mean, the first time you turn on a camera, you look at it, and you're like, hi, I'm Brendan Burchard. <laughs> hi, I'm Brendan Burchard. No, hi. I'm, and you're just like, you can't, even, you can't even introduce yourself, and you're just like, ah, I hate this. Everybody goes through that. It's just that very few people survive the other side of that, right. which is called practice. You just keep doing it, and you keep doing it, and you keep doing it, and then one day it's easier. It's just like every skill is that. Video is a skill. Right. Public speaking is a skill. And the only way to get better at it is you just do it a lot. Well, but the, the thing is, when everybody looks at themselves on video, and I hear this all the time, it's just like, oh, God, I should look better than that. I don't want yeah. people to see me looking yeah. like that. Yeah, but no, How do they deal with it? It's just yeah. like your photo albums. You look stupid 10 years ago, too. Right. <laughs> you know? yeah. So it's okay to be like, oh, well, I'm going to look stupid for a little while, and then it's going to get a little better. But if I don't suffer the stupid right now, then I'm never going to enjoy the success right. later. Right. Right. So you have to be okay with it. You know, I tell people, if you want to be good on video, it's just like anything else. You know, never forget when you knock on the door of opportunity that it's work. Who answers that door? So it's going to be a lot more work and practice. So I tell people, do a simple thing. Turn your phone, turn it on, talk, just start talking at it. Mm -hmm. Just start telling a story. Mm -hmm. Start not, not worrying about you're going to release it. It doesn't have to go on YouTube or Facebook. Just get into it. Try it a couple times, but keep doing it. What I would do when I wanted to learn public speaking, I would walk around my apartment giving a speech. Sometimes from paper, I'd be just reading it out loud. I'd do 50 laps. I burned a hole in my carpet, just walking around. And then I said, oh, I don't want to have to read the whole thing. So then I'd put the whole thing on one piece of paper. I'd keep walking around, keep walking around, keep walking around. Then I said, there's too much. Then I'd put it on note cards, put three, five words on note cards. Then I'd keep walking, walking around. Then I said, okay, I think I got it. Then I'd put it down onto one note card with three words. Walk, 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 I'd, I'd, I'd give the speech. Then got rid of the note card, walk and walk and just try to, not from memory, but just try to talk. Uh, video is not difficult. It's not. It's just that your brain messing, you're messing yourself up by looking at the camera and you're looking at the tech of it versus the expression of it. And so if you just teach yourself to talk more and more and more and more, then it's easy to talk someday in an interview, mm -hmm. Sometimes on the camera, sometimes on the phone, sometimes in the major media. It's all the same once you learn to express yourself. Brendan, when you look in the camera, do you see the people you're talking to? No, I see this little black lens. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Here's what I do. I try to find a sense of presence in myself that comes from a place of caring. Because if you come from a place of ego, <clears throat> look at me. <laughs> Your mind will completely run itself crazy because now it's about how do I appear? I never think about how I appear. I just don't. It's like once I'm on, I'm on. And, and now it's just thinking, I'm thinking a person is watching who I care about. I'm going to try and help them. I'm going to realize that the one thing that will help them the most is my energy, not my words. So I try to come from a place of heart and a place of positive energy, maybe a little motivation, a little fire to the words, because people need to pick up if they're going to watch a video. They, they want to feel better. That's why they're watching a video. Even if they want to learn something specific, they want to feel better. Mm -hmm. So I'm attentive to my feelings that I'm giving out as much as to the words that I'm saying. And I would say that's really helped me find comfort. Because you know when you find comfort is when you care for other people. It's like when, if someone's, you know, if your spouse or your loved one is sick on the couch and you go get them some chicken soup, when you come over to hand them chicken soup, you're not thinking about yourself. 
You're not thinking about how you look. You're thinking, oh man, your, your heart is just pouring out for them. And if you can make that the connection, great. Now, for some people, they say, I don't relate with that. And then I say, here's what I want you to do. When you talk to the camera, talk to it like you're talking to your butt, with your buddy at the barbecue. You know, maybe the both of you might have a beer, or if you don't drink, that's fine. Talk like you talk to a buddy at a barbecue. That's what made our YouTube show so popular. I was an adult talking about personal development topics, but not trying to be, ha, ha, ha. I was like rapping like I talked to you at a barbecue. And they're like, I like this guy. He seems like a guy at the barbecue. People even say that all the time. You seem like the guy down the block. That's just because I'm connecting to those two things. That energy that you have at a barbecue and you're excited to see somebody matched with I care about the person I'm speaking to.